and five, four, three. Welcome to Peacekeeper Reaction. My name is Nathan. Thank you so much for joining us today, you guys. It's a very special episode. We're going to stick around for In Japan for one more song of this filming uh, session uh, because I, I'm just like, this is peacekeeping after hours. This is where I get to watch whatever the hell I damn well please. And uh, I, I, I was remembering um the the band um arb from japan or um alexander's ragtime band uh the band fronted by what's his name R ryo uh what is it uh, uh yes uh what what the hell is happening one sec, sorry. Yes. Uh, Ryo Ishibashi, um, who we know from uh, films, right? He's an actor. I believe he was in Audition um, as one of his uh, uh, films. Um, what else was he in? Uh, yes, 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 yes. The Grudge from 2004. The Grudge 2 from 2006. Uh, wasn't he in Audition? I thought he was in Audition. Maybe I'm tripping out. Anyways, uh, he... Uh, uh, this band... Came, I forget how this band got on my radar, but we did uh, Rock Over Japan. And uh, I gotta say, I loved it. And so um, I want to introduce more ARB into my diet. And this one looked interesting. It's called Murder Game. And, uh, well, let's just dive right in. What do you say, guys? Um, I've got lyrics here, so I'm going to read along, and we're going to enjoy ARB Murder Game on Peacekeeper. Murder Game. Oh, 
shit you guys very fascinating arb murder game on peacekeeper and what a fucking song so am i right am i crazy like it says okay so i've got here murder game on google and it says released in 1989 now i'm not sure if this is that's true but it feels like very like a very um uh, prophetic or what's the it's a like prophecy <laughs> like uh there's a lot of uh these lyrics and I, I'm, I'm not sure how well japanese translates to english so i'm I, i've got my google translate give me the lyrics but listen to this okay um it's about a guy who plays too many video games man in his 20s who's uh, bored at work and whose only solace was playing video games. Uh, somebody who, uh, when he teased me about something so trivial, I pictured a murder game in my head. Um, the days and nights are swaying between dreams and reality. And what an amazing uh, prophecy, prophetic song you know what i mean because think about the world we live in today i mean if this was written in 1989 you know you hear about this kind of epidemic of young um, men who are kind of lonely and uh their only solace is on phones or video games video games is a big one for for lonely kind of dudes or whatever you know what i mean and it uh uh this is really this song could have been written today, I feel like, and it would, it would get everything right. So very fascinating kind of peak, um, uh, 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 you know, uh, into the future that the song was talking about. Um, and uh, it's such a crazy thing. And uh, I grew up in kind of like video games, I, I, you know, this, well, from 89, right? Like, we couldn't get too wrapped up in them. Like, they weren't that great. Like, how long, how many hours can you play Excite Bike? <laughs> Uh, I remember I got like one of those uh, those uh, PlayStation things that has like uh, or uh, Nintendo simulators that has like hundreds of uh, uh, normal regular Nintendo games, and I was like, oh man, I can't wait to play these old games again. And then you play them for five minutes, and you're like, fuck, this shit sucks. <laughs> Load me up some Skyrim. Uh, but um, uh, awesome. The music is awesome. This so uh, this really reminds me of kind of more type of stuff maybe the smiths with like um 
kind of like gothic rock. Like I grew up on one of my favorite albums as a kid was Gowan, you know, like uh, that type of stuff. Like you're a strange animal. And this kind of reminded me of that. I loved Corey Hart growing up. I felt like this kind of had a Corey Hart type vibe to uh, another fascinating band out of Japan. And uh, we've been doing a lot of Japanese uh, bands. So I'm very excited to hear what you guys got to say. If you got a comment, you leave it in the comment section. That's what comment sections are for. And if you want to get your request on the show, you can leave that comment requesting it and we'll bring back our viewer request bowl. If you don't want to wait for the bowl, go to patreon.com slash peacekeeper reaction and we'll get you sorted out for peacekeeper. I'm Nathan. Play safe. I can put my arm back on.